fire everyone. So obviously it's not a pleasant experience when in the middle of winter your boiler breaks down due to the this F75 error and you don't have hot water or heating. Um, but don't panic uh, because F75 is such a common error and I think there is a solution from most of the time to fix this error. So this um, F75 uh, usually occurs due to the pressure or pressure sensor or pressure pump. Uh, the first thing I would uh, do is I will go to my control panel and look for the pressure gauge. As you can see here in this picture, um, the pointer on, on, on this one is in red zone, which means that uh, there's too much pressure. Uh, of, or it means there's too much water in the boiler system. So we need to basically bleed the radiators. So this will bring down the pressure. Uh, remember, the same error can be caused due to um, low pressure as well. I'll put up another video to show you how to increase or decrease the pressure. Oh, there are you know plenty of other videos you can Google it, and hopefully that will be all useful. Right. So once the uh, pressure pointer is back into the gray zone, which is normal, then we will move on to the next step. So I would locate the power button uh, for the boiler. So I will switch off the power button for uh, thirty seconds, and then switch that back on. Right, so now on the final part, so you will need to locate the um, reset button on your boiler. So in this case, it's a flame uh, with a cross button. So I will just press it for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, um, I will release uh, this button and that will actually switch on uh, the boiler back again. And you will hear that rumbling noise. Just make sure your heating is on and I will just run the hot water tap. Now, if you look at the control panel, you will see that the um, boiler has started firing. So there's a flame uh, icon there. There's tap uh, running as well as your heating is on. So it looks like the temperature is going up, um, which means the boiler is back into the working condition. Right, so one last thing you can do is to test whether your pressure is in order because that's where the, the whole problem started with your pressure issue. So you can press this um, minus button on your control panel um, to test where, where your pressure is. So if you just notice after pressing uh, this button, um, straight away another icon will come up. There you go. So yeah, uh, it shows two on my control panel, which is perfect. Um, well, it is recommended this to be uh, the pressure to be between one and three. But yeah, as close to two is perfect. So yeah, I hope this was useful and it has um, saved your, you know, saved your call out to plumber. Um, and yeah, best wishes. Thanks.